coast area here about, I don't know, 75 miles this side of uh, Tucson, east of Tucson. And uh, I'm, I've got a campsite reserved at a KOA somewhere north, on, just north of Tucson. I'm going to hang around there for a couple of days and look around. And I stop here because they said I, I don't think I can check in until like 2 o'clock. According to my GPS, my arrival time now is 12, 37, so I've got time to kill. That and I don't want to drive around San Diego and stuff like that on a holiday weekend. It'll probably be a nightmare, so I'll be here for two days. Today's Friday, so I'll be leaving the campground Sunday and then heading toward San Diego Sunday. In the meantime, this is one of the advantages of having an RV that you don't have to put the slides out to do things in. I'm going to make me a, a sandwich. Let me see what we got in here. Tea, pop, beer, the essentials, beer, <laughs> bologna. What's this here? Fresh, what is it? Hillside honey ham. I think I'll make me a ham sandwich. And a little bit of mayo and spicy, maybe some spicy mustard. I just wanted to point out real quick, if you see that big overhang there on the left, there's many RV full hookup spots underneath of that. There are several of them in this park, but out west, those are not unusual. It's usually only about an extra $5 a night to park underneath of there. But in 117 degree temperature, those are worth their weight in gold, and I highly recommend it when you get there.
this is our spot for the next two or three days and we really enjoyed this camping spot and we enjoyed this koa this koa ground uh campground had everything last night my camera shut off so i'm going to start over and say, say stuff last night they had a, a scavenger hunt for all the kids with glow sticks or something and it was it was at night and then today they had a parade and they got range is tomorrow today is the big slide um, they got a big slide with water um, and food uh, food trucks food trucks. they got a bunch of stuff out here a water park and stuff they've set up out here for the kids basically but they have a hot tub they have a pool they have a nice laundry it's very nice yeah you know, we washed our clothes today like i say this is a uh, the restaurant bar which is kind of nice and then the lobby out front is, is very good size, pool tables and stuff like that. Um, and then they've got a bistro out front, I'm not sure yeah. what that I'll is. I'll try to get that. some video of it. Right now I got my cell phone, I forgot my good camera, so hopefully these videos will come out okay. Give you an idea what this place is. And for us, we did not get under the covered area. I didn't know they had a covered area. But for we'll us, next time. yeah, with the complete hook, I noticed out west that seems to be a common thing to be able to rent a spot with covers on it. And I, I'm, I'm gonna start asking, but anyway, um, it's 50 bucks a night, 100 bucks with full hookup. And uh, you might say it's a little pricey, but the convenience of everything to me is really nice. It was really pretty. I mean, the, the sites have a, a flowering bush on one side and a fruit tree on the other side, and a little cement patio. Yeah. And, and tables and chairs. Yeah, tables and um, chairs. Yeah, we sat out there last night and watched people walking their dog. Same thing here as in the villages. When the sun goes down, people come out and walk their dogs. Early in the morning out at night, out here, it gets a little chilly, which I'm good with it. Yeah, below 70. The below problem 70. with that is if you set your air conditioner, say at 75, which I do, and it gets chilly, sometimes the air conditioner on it keeps kicking on and kicking off because at night, the inside of the cab will heat up. And by the time six o'clock in the morning rolls around, it, it will feel kind of cold, kinda. But it's nothing you can't deal with. So anyway, I'm gonna eat. Today, Sue drug me to the botanical gardens here in Tucson. I forget the name of it. So we just got here, and the entrance is up here somewhere. There it is. I don't know how much tickets are. I swear, getting around to Tucson here is, is a little nerve-wracking for me. These people around here drive nuts. If the speed limit is 40, they'll be doing 65 and 70, cutting in your way. And I mean, I don't know. And so far, the two days I've been here and driving around, I ain't seen a cop one. So anyway. So we're not all the way in yet. I mean, we just now paid... I don't even know how much it was. Here's a uh, a baby sequoia, three of them. You can see the, how they progress. Someone told me, they're blooming this time of year too. You can see the blooms up there. Someone told me, I don't know when, but somebody lived out here. And if I remember right, they told me they don't develop their first arm until they're like 75 or 100 years old. Something like that. It was amazing. I hear birds. I guess I'm where I'm not supposed to be. Because there's a picnic table right there. I can be here. I see a horse back here. This area here is just basically... Uh, plants and the different things that grow wild in the desert. I hear a lot of uh, birds and things.
Believe it or not, it's like 97 degrees outside without any help or anything. In here, it feels at least I see a hummingbird. You guys see that hummingbird right there? It feels at least 10 degrees cooler here. These are weird plants. There's the baby size. There's a more adult size. Here's a bigger one. Kind of look like octopuses. Wave, motherfuckers. These things here will grow wild in Florida. I've seen them. You know, that looks like rain. So if it takes 100 years to grow the first arm, you know, my thought is, so how old is this one? It's got one, two, three, four arms plus the center. So does that make it 500 years old? 400? The reason why the base of these look like that, can you see how it's been kind of gnawed up? Here's one over here that's been in here and it hasn't went anywhere else. You notice the bottom of it. It's not gnawed up. They've transplanted this one here from somewhere where they do construction because you can't cut these down. And that's where the turtles, the desert turtles, chew on that to get water. I was telling Sue. And we look at these plants around here and try not to touch anything because everything around here will poke you. They got a bush out there called a creosote bush and I don't know what the use of it is. I don't think the name means anything but um, you can smell it miles away. And when you drive through a desert you can smell the creosote bushes uh, for a, a long way. I want. I think that's called a barrel cactus, and the barrel cactus is get, either getting ready to bloom or it's already bloomed and uh, dying off. I can't tell. This thing here may look dead. Trust me, it's not. A little bit of water in this thing will take right off. I've, I've been seeing all kinds of hummingbirds in here. I'm not sure exactly what kind of cactus that is, but oh, it's called a pipe organ, organ pipe cactus. I'm not going to get into the real name. That's kind of a cool cactus. I like that. There's a barrel cactus there. You know, walking through this here, just make a great YouTube video. <laughs> I can't really show very much of this. I'll have to cut the hell out of it because to most people, this is boring. Walking around looking at plants. There are a lot of birds there. These things will poke you too. I know they look nice, right? Let me get closer, see if you can see it. Can you see them? Oh. We've got all kinds of little lizards running around here, and these signs are telling you what they are. I mean, you won't see them all. They're probably underground where it's cooler, but. I have seen a couple weird looking, I was going to say cactus, but don't have no prickly things. Look at it. Looks like an 80 year old woman's skin. Here's some more of the barrel cactus grown here. Along with, I'm not sure what exactly what that's called. I'm really not sure exactly what that's called back there either. 
Now this is a golden barrel. And there's that, and then there's, that looks like, uh, uh, what's it called? You eat it. Castroville, California is home of whatever. So look at this Volkswagen. They got it all decked out with all kinds of cactus, even on the rims. Even in the headlights. His cactus here comes out the window, goes down the side, comes up, and goes in the gas tank. sunroof. The inside of it's full of plants in there. <laughs> Here's somebody's hobby out in the desert yeah, setting up a train station. It's a Tucson Garden Railway Society. Those railroad guys will come up with all kinds of stuff. They call them, uh, I don't even know, miniature railway you see them everywhere but this one here is uh, inside the botanical garden who is this Tucson botanical gardens uh, something something where does it say railway society